Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Can't Live Without Electricity, a resource management puzzle game similar to mini motorways. Anyway, we'll start with the square grid because I'm a noob, but I haven't got access to the hexagon grid yet. And we'll load up this level, the cat. So first off, you may notice the level looks like a cat. Oh, really? But if we zoom in, you'll see it's actually like a little world. So we've got power plants here. We've then got houses and we need to use a selection of these tools to connect the houses to the power plants so they have power. So you can see here we've got 29 wires. They look like planks for some reason. But we can basically just come out of the power plant and go straight to there and then he is powered up. But our number of remaining wires has gone down and we've used a, a half. That's because it's a diagonal because each diagonal counts as one and a half because they're slightly longer than a normal one. You can do the trigonometry if you don't believe me. Anyway, if we want to connect to this other house, obviously we can come out the power plant, go all the way over there, connected. But that's used a lot of wire and cable. So what we can do instead is delete that. We can come straight out of the house. Pretty handy. You're also able to make little junction connections like that. However, I'm going to complete delete them because there is a better way. Do you see this little one? Yes, you may notice there's like a two there and a three there. These are future power plants that are going to spawn, by the way. Uh, so if we connect to that, can you see it's gone the greeny blue color? If we then zoom out and look on the rest of the map, look, the other ones on the map they are now green, which means we have a connection point we can use. So that's now connected. And if I want to save even more tiles, I'll probably get rid of them and then just go boosh, boosh. So now we've connected all the houses up for as few resources as possible, meaning we can go into the next turn. Now we get to pick between these. So we can go with five wires and two hammers. You can see we've got 12 hammers there or 10 wires. I think I'm going to go with the hammer of one because you may have noticed these little rocks poking about. If we want to pass through a rock, can you see it gets destroyed? That uses up one of our hammers. And there's quite a lot of those rocks on this cat's face. So we want to be a bit careful. So let's go into two there. So we've got the two up this way. Then I guess connect into that. And then I'm going to imagine it's probably best to go diagonally between all the rocks. And then maybe do that just so I'm avoiding rocks. So they're all connected. Worth noting as well, we've also got this which basically allows us to jump over cables. So if we go from there to there, for example, we've got a little jump. Uh, quite handy, but quite rare. We've only got one of those at the moment. Uh, and we've also got this one, which basically turns a house into a power plant. So say our two wasn't connected and we were like, oh man, how, how are we going to power these up? Well, we can use this tool to literally turn one of them into a power plant. Look, it's got like a weird hamster wheel wind turbine on its roof. But then we can connect from that point. So we're independent of the power plant. Oh, I've just realized these are like, they're powered differently. So the green one is powered by wind and solar, I'm guessing. The blue is sort of a, some sort of hydroelectric dam with a backup hamster power generator. Uh, what is the third going to be? I don't know, but I think I should probably delete what we had there and do this the simpler way like that. So on to the next turn, what shall we pick? Four hammers or five wires and two hammers? I reckon we'll go that one because the more wires means we will be able to like go go around like the scenic route and stuff because we don't have many of those jumpy over ones. We've only got one, remember? So this power plant twice as efficient as most people. Are they like sewage tanks? I feel like it may be producing electricity using methane and sewage and stuff. Anyway, we've connected that to the three. Then down here, we'll just do that and then diagonal up that way, I guess. So on to the next turn where I think I'm going to go probably with the wires. Okay, so we've got two houses spawn over this way. So pretty straightforward for the purple. Same with that one, pretty much. So 20 bits of wire remaining. And it's worth noting on this, we've got, can you see there's 31 rounds remaining. We're currently on turn four. So this cat's face is going to be an absolute mess by the end of it. And the aim is to get to the 31 turns without ever having a round where like no one has power. Uh, thankfully, you can erase all by pressing this button down here if you want to completely redraw from the start. But yeah, let's keep going. So turn five, what do you want to pick? Five wires, two hammers. Yeah, I think it's wise to keep getting wires as well as hammers because we will need both. Okay, we'll just do that and that for you two. Fairly easy. The next turn, oh, 10 wires or four hammers. I think we'll go wire for now. I feel like there's going to be a point though where I'm going to need hammers because like looking at like the edge of the face, it's like all rock. It's only in the middle where it's like a checkerboard pattern. Anyway, we can just connect you to there, you down that way, go to the next turn, pick. Yeah, maybe I'll do hammers this time just so I've got a bit of both. Get a bit of both going on. All right, it's that one. I will avoid using hammers where I need to. So diagonal there, even though it costs an extra one. 
And this one, I will use a hammer to go straight through. Then next turn again, five wires, two hammers or four hammers. Can you not give me something good? I'm guessing maybe turn 10, I get a choice of like good stuff. But yeah, right. Ooh, ooh, that's a bit naughty game. So it's put a green in there. Now, obviously, we could try and get over to that green. But we're going to have to go through a lot of rocks. That is connected. Alternatively, I could sort of go up like that way. Like if we do that, that goes through way less rocks. Uh, but obviously, this purple is now not connected. So I may have to take you around like that. I think that still uses less hammers overall. So I guess that's good for now. We got a cheeky little blue in there. So connect you in and then we'll go on to the next turn. Pick the wire and the hammer. And then we got purples up this way, which should be pretty easy to do, to be honest. So we've just done that. And next turn, I think I'm going to try and stick with getting both each time now. But yeah, purple there, pretty easy. Green down there, we can just do a junction off that. And then this turn, we've got a green there. Is it worth going through the rock to use less wires or do I go like diagonal? I think through the rock. And then over this way, we've got you. So I might do that and then diagonal in. Sorted. 22 wires remaining, 17 hammers remaining. Things are looking good, but it's going to get complicated as houses start spawning randomly. Uh, sort of like now, because there's a blue. What are you doing over there, mate? Anyway, let's go through the cat's eye. I mean, probably just go straight down that way. Quite a long way. But we still got 20 and a half wires remaining. And then you can just go straight into the three. Yeah, that looks like a good cat. Can you tell I'm a dog person? Anyway, next turn, we get to pick between four hammers or 10 wires. I feel like I've generally had more wires, but they're sort of catching up. So I'm going to go with the wires now up to 27. Cheeky purple there, cheeky blue there. Things seem to be going quite easy. I'm already trying to plan out routes where I may have to like readjust. Like I'm sort of thinking like this blue, that is a lot of wire, especially when I can just connect these three to this house in order to like split them up a bit. I don't know. We'll have to see how things pan out. For now though, pretty easily. So you go in there, you up there. I think we'll do diagonal and then a straight. We'll go to the next turn, pick the both. And then, oh, the game's being very, very kind to me. Thank you, game. Appreciated. I pick more wires and hammers. And oh, why did I speak too soon? Okay, so we have a purple there and it can't get across. I really don't want to use my, my bridgey thing until I absolutely need to. But I could do that to link them together. Maybe I'll do that for now and readjust later. But yeah, not having any of those left is quite worrying. The blue was quite kind to me this time, so I won't complain too much. We're on to turn 17. I think I may take some hammers just in case. All right, we got green there. I think I'll just connect you straight in to the power plant itself. Private power line. And then up here. Oh, man, what are we going to do with you? So we could either go around the blue. We could jump over if we sort this one to get our jumpy thing back. Or we could rearrange the blue. And honestly, I feel like that's probably the best idea. So if I delete all those wires, this blue I can go from the power plant up there. So there, those four are connected. Remember, we're still connected to the two. So that's still connected. You're still connected. I think I'll take this blue down that way. And then this green up there. So I think I've saved on the number of wires because we don't have that arm anymore. But we are going through a lot of rocks. I could change that by coming down to there if I wanted to. I think we'll see if we need to later on. So next turn, let's pick the wires. And then we've got a couple of blues. They look quite easy to fix. So you go in that way. You get connected like that. Turn 19 will connect the green up like that. We're sort of making like a little tree there. And you can connect like that without going through any rock. And then suddenly it's turn 20, which was very kind. So boosh, boosh, they're all connected. Purples look pretty good as well. And then this is turn 22, so we'll get our first star next time. Um, and thankfully, game's been very, very kind. So boosh, we have a star. We get to pick one of these items again. We'll go with the both. And then, oh, we got a blue down there. What are you doing there, mate? Now, what I'm thinking I do here, actually, I might leave that crossing in, but I think I'm going to change it from the purples to be the blues that do it. Because we got this house here, we may as well take the purples round, sort of like that. I think that makes sense. What about you, cat? <laughs> anyway, what this game loves doing is as soon as you feel like you're sort of ahead, you're like winning, suddenly it does that. It spawns a purple right on top of everything you had built. And because I can't connect different colored lines together, we're going to have to do something here. 
Something that involves severing those, essentially. So I think if we connect the purples together, then we've just got to deal with these two greens. Now, they're pretty trapped at the moment. But if I delete all of that, so we're left with these five to connect. What I'm thinking, green, you go round the outside, proper m and M it, and connect to that. And then I've just got these purples to connect together, which I should be able to do by doing some diagonals like that. Nice. Okay, we've solved that problem. However, the population is still expanding, which means there's more houses. And oh, stop building on my lines. Yeah, I think for this one, fairly easy fix of we'll take the blue through there and just keep the green a bit wider. We'll then go complain at this guy, but it was house on off power cable. So we'll do that, do that. Not too bad, but you can see space is running out rapidly. We've still got like five turns to go. Next one, same thing. Green, you go wide, purple in there. Up this way, the blue needs to do that. Oh, I've just realized as well, I don't need this jump. This crossing isn't needed. So we'll delete that and just connect them like that. Because one other thing to mention, in order to get the highest scores, you need to not use any of these special features. Like the jump, the power plant, everything you use will detract from your score at the end. However, turn 29, look, we've got a rare one, which means we can pick 13 wires and one jumper. Yes, please. Winter is coming. I need a jumper to stay warm. Anyway, blue house there. What, what are you doing there, mate? Honestly, honestly. Uh, what I'm thinking, if I disconnect all of those, and then blues can come up and around, connect to there, then the green can go in pretty easily. We'll just bypass over that way, connect the blue up. Oh, that is lovely. That is neat and tidy. Anyway, we're on to the penultimate round. Let's pick more of those. Blue, that's quite annoying, mate. Not gonna lie. We'll connect you in there anyway, and then do that and that to connect all those together. And then we're ready to finish. We made it to turn 31. We got three stars. A perfect score. And you can see down here in the score, if you use the jumper and the generators, you get minus points. If you get to turn 31 and connect everything together around it, you get bonus points. Now, all these levels, whilst they look different, they also add different stuff. So this snow level, you can see it's got like ice islands. And this one adds bridges. Oh, we love a bridge. And if I complete the rest of this map, it ends up looking like this, which looks nothing like a snowflake, but it does look pretty. Unfortunately, on this one, I only got the two stars because I used a generator, but I did survive. Nice. Anyway, this turtle map has islands, which means it adds this, which are pipes. They basically allow us to go boosh like that. So we've attached the turtle's head. We've just got to get to these two houses. I imagine for now, the easiest way of doing that is just go across the body like that. Next turn. It looks like we always get to pick between hammers and pipes. You can see I've got 30 hammers, nine pipes. So I think I'll take the pipes for now. And then, oh, down here. Okay, we've got to attach the left flipper. So how does a diagonal pipe work? Is it just scored as a diagonal? Oh, no, it counts as one. Okay, so you can only go in three directions, but you can go as far as you want for one pipe. Good to know. Anyway, we'll pipe across there. We'll connect these houses up like that and then like that to avoid the rock. We'll pick a load of wire and then we have our third power plant on the right back flipper. And then the two houses are there. That's quite annoying to get to, I will not lie. So to save on the rocks, I think I'll take this one slightly wider like that. Pipe that over. And then when I connect this house, I've made myself some space so I can come parallel to this pink one that I did earlier. Nice. Okay, so we've had a green spawn there, so I can literally just go via that house, which is fine. Annoyingly, we've got a yellow up there. How am I going to get around this green? Now, I could use a load of pipes, which is probably what I'm going to have to do, I think. Actually, I've just realized I've only got two and a half bits of wire left. So I think let's try and cut down the pink. Oh, actually, I've just realized I need to use pipes because that saves me so much wire. Assuming I can cross pipes, I can go from that house straight up to there. So then connecting that and that together, we're sorted. Can I do the same with this guy? So pink house over to there. Yes, we can cross pipes. We're crossing streams. Okay, so I've just saved like 20 wires there. That is awesome. Using the same technique, I'm guessing we go to that point. Let's stay wide for now. Keep it simple. But that is everything connected. We've still got 17 wires left. It's all about the pipe work in this. So next turn, we've got pipes and hammers or just more pipes. I think I've got to go for more pipes. I'm all about the pipes now. I am the pipe master. Really? 
So down here, connects you up like that, connects you up like that. Easy. Oh, we got a rare. So we've got a jumper and five hammers. I, f oh, I know that's the better one to do because it's rare. It's so shiny and nice. I feel like I need wires more than anything. Still, it is shiny. So we've gone for that one. And probably quite handy because although I can get that in, I think I'm going to need a jumper here. So jump from there over to there. Then we can connect that in like that. Nice. Okay, then we got you to connect. And then down here. Oh, that's quite annoying. It won't light. I think we're going to have to use my other jumper. So we'll just do that. Finally get some more wires. We get six back. So we've got ten and a half now. Uh, but slightly annoyingly, I think we might have to change the change the pinks. So I've set this up, which basically means I can pipe from there over to there. Then that over to that way. And down to that one as well. So that's all the reds connected, which gives me, hopefully, a way of going over to that house. Yes, nice. We've then just got to connect these remaining pinks in like that. And then we're sorted. That looks more complicated, but I think it's less complicated, if that makes sense. So this turn was very nice to me. We can just connect those in. Select more pipes. Add another house in. And then for this pink, I think we just got to change the yellow to do that so that the pink can come around. We then got a couple of greens up there, which is a very easy connect. And the next goat, there was a couple more as well. So that's even easier. All right, we then pick six wires and two pipes. Because we still got 21 hammers, which ain't bad. And then we got a bit of a pain because we've got you there. I think we can squeeze around like that. It's not ideal. I think just more wires, to be honest. We've got 22 and a half now. That's an easy connect. And up there ain't too bad either. All right, so little bit stuffed now. We, we got that house literally on its own. I guess we get rid of that route. Then we can take these yellows around the outside, which hasn't helped us too much, but it has freed up this, the jumpy thing. So if we jump over there, we can then just connect that in. And then we're sorted. A few turns later, we got something similar up here. So I think, again, we uh, we need to divert around so we can just take the green that way. And since we got this up in the air pipe, we can take you around that way. There's the yellow down here, which we can just take around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. And then we're good for the next round to connect you up. And then, oh no, up here is not good. <laughs> How am I meant to get to that house? Oh, I guess the only way I can really do that is by deleting those that I literally just put in. Taking that down that way so I can put that and connect those together. The yellow, I just come around there. And then to connect these up, I'm just going to have to use some pipes. I got 26 to be fair. About time I used them. But I think we're going to have to go over to... Oh, look, we can do diagonal from that point. So once that's connected up... Oh, easy. Easy, mate. Man, look at his shell. Oh, what are you doing, game? What are you doing? Stop putting yellows over here. I can go around the other way with those, but to get these two working, I don't even... I'm going to have to use this one. I'm going to have to use the power plant. So that is now a power plant, which... Oh, look, it's got a little chimney on top. That will power the yellow house and itself. That is going to affect our score at the end, though. Let's take some hammers. Okay, that's not ideal. Pink house on green line. So let's not go around there with yellows. Let's instead do that with the pinks. Because then I can connect the green there. And then to get these two yellows, I could just pipe like over to that corner. So that when they're connected, they just do that. Decent. All right, the next turn, we've got the same thing with houses going on the wrong places. Uh, but I think this one's just a bit of jiggery pokery. So that's that sorted. And then this one is actually quite annoying. I won't lie. Uh, right, so the trouble is to get that up there severs the green. And that green's stuck in the middle. So I'm just wondering, could I pipe from this flipper to that flipper? Would that allow me to bypass? I think it would, actually. So if I keep the yellows connected like that, the greens... The greens can be connected like that, which allows a, a pipe network across there. Because we can go over to that one. And then from that island, go to that island. Nice. Okay, we're connected again. Thankfully, it's made it nice and easy to connect these together. And the next stage was easy as well. And then suddenly, we're just one turn away from our first start. So we've got a yellow. Why? Have you... Why? Why would you go there out of all the places you could go? Uh, let's have a think, though. I reckon we just delete all of that. And then we literally just pipe, like, down that way. So then that is the greens connected without using any of this space. And the yellows can just go around like that. Nice. I do probably want to try and get rid of that power plant if I can. And I reckon I could, perhaps by linking these greens together. 
Like, I could do a diagonal across that way and then across that way. So that's the greens now connected, which means I can delete that connection. And then suddenly I have a nice easy way through like that. I remember using less of these things will help my score at the end. So that's good. We got our first star now. You are a knob. I'm not going to lie. Absolute knob. But we have a spare jumper. So you jump over the top. Boosh. All right. Nearly there now, Mr. Turtle. Oh, he says as they put houses that completely ruin everything you've built. Okay, well, we'll have a bit of a rearrange and see what the solution looks like. Two hours later. So we end up with that. The next turn has just completely surrounded this house in yellow. Thankfully, easy fix, which is just that. Although the next turn <laughs> is just good. Oh, man. Game really doesn't want this house to be connected to anything. However, could I, could I go over there? And pipe over to the middle island. Yes, we can. All right, then we had a couple of easy turns, but now we're on turn 38. They've put a house in there, which I think disrupts our red connection. If I delete that, yeah, these reds are no longer connected. So I need another pipe bridge. Thankfully, I think I just go, yeah, down to that one and then connect that in. So that's those connected. Next turn, let's pick some the pipes and hammers. They seem to be the most useful. And then, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? We got a yellow there. I mean, that one's an easy fix, but the other one is not. How am I meant to get a yellow connection to that? Well, first things first, let's divert the greens down that way. So I don't need any of that. So then we've just got these two houses. In order to get the yellow connected, it has to go out some way, probably like that. And then you're stuck on your own. So I have to either use a jumper, which I don't have, or the power plant. I don't think there's any other way of doing this. Okay, well, power plants it is for now. All right, so thankfully, we're on our final turn. But look, the fewer generators and jumpers you use, the higher your score. So is there a way to get rid of them? Two very boring minutes later. All right, well, I went a hell of a detour, but I got rid of one jumper. So I think that will do me two stars. We have unlocked the orange and the panda, though. Oh, and the panda uses even more things. But yeah, that was Can't Live Without Electricity. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, love, and dismembered turtles. Bye, guys.